The bag itself is from H&M. H&M is one of my favorites, mainly because of their sustainability efforts. Just reach in and grab something random. My go-to sunglasses, these are from a local boutique that I absolutely love. So yes, I always try to shop local when I can. And even when you do, sometimes you can find things that are, at least in my mind, pretty fashionable and stylish. So those are my go-tos, I love them. Dry shampoo dry shampoo because it's florida so it's a little bit warm and humid and the hair can start to fall a little flat and just be like a little unwashed looking even if you did just wash it that day which i wash my hair every day and yet it'll still kind of look unwashed sometimes <laughs> even when it's not i love that i discovered this brand this year when i did i think it's called i think you say it like odell i don't really know how else you would say it but so it's like a plant-based um, sort of brand. I use another product from that as well. It's this like cream for like heat protection and smoothing and stuff. So yeah, it says with plant proteins and natural fragrance. It's vegan, it's not tested on animals, it's dermatologist tested, and it's color safe. So it's got all the things that a dry shampoo needs. And I have noticed now too that I feel like dry shampoos used to always, always be in spray um, cans, like aerosol spray cans but I'm seeing more powders out there now, it seems. I think that's cool. We love plant proteins. We love natural and ethical stuff here, at least in my world. This is just an essential. This is not, this is not glamorous, but <laughs> this is eye drops. For, I, I wear contacts, so I have to get specific kinds of eye drops. My eyes just get dry sometimes. Just dry eyes, you know, how that is. And so it moistens, le <laughs> moistens lenses. It's like a drugstore brand one. There's probably better ones out. I'm sure there are better ones. An essential in my world happens to be tiny little claw clips. <laughs> like I have a variety of small, they're like, like medium sized claw clips because they do make the tiny claw clips as well. But the types of claw clips that I am most inclined to wear are ones that are roughly this size. They're smaller. Is it focused? I don't know. I can't tell from over here. I need a monitor. So this is an H&M one here. It was like a two pack. I think it's cute. And then these guys I got from a local salon. They sell things there. So like little hair accessories. And I'll usually just put my hair either like half up like this if I'm just like running around and I'll just I'll like put in a little half up bun and just clip it. And that's what I do. <laughs> It's just a different look from just wearing your hair down. And then I will also sometimes like just put all the hair up in a clip. Like, eh. okay. So, and then what's next? I am so serious when I say I don't leave the house without this. So the Toki wireless charger, it's actually not wireless. This one's not wireless, but they do make a wireless one as well. The thing about Toki, so they are a plant medicine sort of consumption brand. They also make this thing. This is a 510 threaded battery. But I, this is probably the main thing I've used from Toki over like the last year or so. I am always on the go and I do carry around, you know, both things like this and I also have my phone on me all the time. And it even charges things like, like if it has, basically if anything has a USB-C charger, you can charge it with this. These are the, see the charging ports? So you have your USB, your, what is the other? Like mini USB or standard USB, I think is what that's called. So you have the like standard <laughs> USB port, USB-C port and mini USB port. Yes, I have an affiliate code with them or affiliate link anyway, but I don't even really care about making money off of like affiliate type stuff anymore. I mean, yes, in the past, it's been some little side, you know, little extra cash here and there, but ultimately I just like to align myself with brands that I really believe in right now. So even though they are a you know, sort of vape brand for cannabis consumption, plant medicine consumption, that is. They're not just like every other one. They, I just love their ethos and the um, sort of, the specifics about this brand, like that their CEO, Drew Henson, worked for NASA, and he's also won multiple design awards. He has a master's degree, and I just love that we have people like that in the plant wellness space, kind of representing plant wellness, because, you know, like, I, if, most people on here kind of already, I think, think sort of like this, or a lot of the people who find my videos kind of think the way I do already. If anyone does see this who's not really big into cannabis or plant medicine or whatever the case may be, 
and you're kind of thinking like, oh, that's really bad and the people who use it are really bad people or they're like really unintelligent and lazy and if that's anything like what you think about it, I would just challenge you to think again because we have people like, you know, Drew Henson and others who do support the cannabis movement. They use cannabis themselves and they are educated, driven, intellectual, innovative people and they're bringing things like design and innovation to the cannabis space. And they also make it known that that is what they are and who they are. And I think that's a really important important part of branding is sort of specifying what makes you you as a brand and what sort of makes you stand out from the rest. Um, what are you doing for this industry? Because it is a booming and growing industry. And there are a lot of different, you know, partakers in it. There are a lot of different people sort of um, sort of in the space. A lot of di there are always new ones coming up and, you know, my question will always be with any sort of industry where there are a lot of things in it, like beauty, you know, like hair and makeup and everything. Um, what it's my question for any brand, I guess, that I'm sort of looking into and wanting to know about, or like what you know, wondering why I should purchase from them. My question will pretty much always be, or my first question is like, what makes them different, or what what are they all about? Like, you know, what's what is their point of difference? So, with Toki, it's really that the people that they have on board with them are innovators and. They're also very inclusive. And really, at the end of the day, the products work amazingly. And when you look at both, you know, both of these really in my mind, especially their 510 battery, I'm like, this is this is something that someone with a design sense created. It just is. Like it's it's just different. You don't see them like this. They don't all look like this at all. This is very unique. Okay, back to beauty type things. This one, this was more of a I was by a dollar store and needed something, just anything to put on my lips because they were so dry. But I happened to find that I actually really liked this. It was probably about $1.25 and it's from LA Colors. It's a lip oil and it is what it is. Um, <laughs> I actually do like it though. Is it like a mineral oil based thing? Probably. I think it is actually. So a lot of people would say that's not good, but I, there are some exceptions that I make to my whole like. It has to be this, it has to be plant-based, it has to be, like, that's not realistic for most people because at the end of the day, like, you might be near a dollar store, you're not by a Whole Foods, you're not by a, like, you're not by, uh, then like, some health food store or something, so you have to just kind of work with what's there. And then, because I try to be somewhat minimalist or try to at least use the things that I have as opposed to just getting more things, like, oh, this one's not good enough, I'll just get a better one. Why don't we just use the one we have? You know? And then we can do something else with that time. <laughs> So going back to what is all in my bag, of course we have the car keys. Now this is also where my minimalism came into play this year. I used to walk around with a huge, just bunch of old keys that had no use because I don't need them anymore. Of course it wouldn't be me without some vapes and things. <laughs> wouldn't be me without one of these. This one is this. This one, oh, that's a highlighter. That's not what I thought it was. <laughs> There's another flavor of this in, okay. It's really better that I only have one. Also have this guy and this guy from True Leave. So these are other medical sort of devices that I carry on me. Just because you never know when you might need that or might benefit from that if you're like me. Going into anything else that's in here. Then you've also got the True Leave Perks card. I actually have a, <laughs> have a couple of these because I lost the first one and ended up getting a couple more given to me and <laughs> this part's getting cut out. Love this one. I actually really like how the Sunshine Cannabis version of the True Stick is looking. I'm a big fan. It's just a nice gold vibe, kind of goes with everything. Got the gold, got the gold here, got the got the gold, gold, gold. I like the whole neutral with a touch of gold. There's just something about it for me. I like it. And I feel like it's timeless, you know? it's It really is. I feel like it's, when do any of those things go out of style? Black, white, cream, gold. I like all of that. Those are the main ones. Oh wait, one last thing. I do not go anywhere without my medical card because how would I shop at the dispensaries without it? Here in Florida, it's just medical. So yeah, that's where we, um, that's how we get our products is with a card that's given to us by a doctor who decides if we are able to use medical marijuana or not. Medical cannabis is really what we should be calling it in my opinion, but that's, you know, the state is <laughs> what they are and it's fine, but that's what they call it is MMJ or medical marijuana. And I call it medical cannabis because I prefer that. And there you go. And every now and then I slip up and I just call it weed. But <laughs> so that's kind of an overview of everything in my bag right now.
And if you're somebody watching this and you're like, oh wow, I haven't cleaned out my bag in a long time, this is your reminder to just go ahead and dump it out and <laughs> reorganize because that's always a good feeling to know that you're not walking around with just a bunch of clutter. Like I, I've definitely been guilty of doing that. That's the only reason why I say it because like I know it's kind of easy to forget about these things. You're just like throwing stuff in your bag and then you're like, you look at it one day and you're like, what is happening? One last thing, if you see this and you are into the plant side of things, I did discover a seltzer that I really enjoy. It's not even medical, it's more of a hemp-based one, so it's kind of legal more than the medical stuff is. Um, it's more widely available. I think it's made in Texas, and I am a big fan, so if you want to talk about hemp seltzers, whether those are, you know, whatever they are, we can talk about that in the next video, and I, I've tried a few different ones now. Big fan. Big fan. Wish the medical places here could have these. We can't have them due to laws, but yeah. So maybe we'll see that one day in the medical side of things or, you know, they're talking about, they're talking about adult use later this year. There's a vote for that, but who knows? We've seen, I've seen that in the ballot a couple years in the past, but hasn't passed yet. So we'll see if it does this year. <laughs> anyway, I do like the packaging on this though. See you next time.